Last week we kicked off fair season by featuring the food you can find at the Big E. Today we're going to show you how to make some of your favorite fair food at home. Van Hurd is an executive sous chef and he just got first place at the craft beer and chili competition at Rentschler Field. Van, it's so great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Uh, can you tell me about this competition you won? Yeah, it was a craft beer and chili competition. You know, I, 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 I'm from Texas, so. I, you probably have a legitimate chili. I, it's legit. What made yours stand out? Can you tell us the secret? I use filet instead of ground beef. Like filet mignon you cut yeah, up instead? Yeah. I, I guess that would make a big difference. And then I smoke it for an hour at the end, so you get that really? smoky, earthy, nice flavor. Great. It makes it almost 3D. No kidding. Yeah. And what happened? People, there were judges. People voted for you. A it little was bit like of both. Everybody who was there voted. Cool. And there was probably 12, 13 different chilies from across the state. Not bad. And you get a trophy. What'd you win? No. Bragging rights. Yeah, bragging rights. That's impressive, though. Yeah. That's good. All right. Uh, so we're kind of making fancy fair food today, aren't fancy we? Fancy fair food. You know, I love the fair, Texas State Fair. I used to go all the time. I ha I'm getting ready to go to the Big E. And you haven't been to the Big E yet, no, have you? I haven't it's been. so much fun. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. A lot of so, eating though. A lot of fried food. A lot as of you fried can food. So when I was thinking, when I when y'all invited me back on here, I'm like, it's fall time. It's fair time. Let's do something. Let's do fancy. it up. All right. What are we gonna do here? So we have duck corn dogs with a cherry ketchup. So I made some house-made sausage. Okay. I made this out of duck and foie gras. Fancy, 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 fancy. fancy pants and I like man. to grill my sausage first. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna get it right on the grill. We got nice grill marks on each side, ready to go. Probably not easy making those. A little bit of a process. No, so like if like I'm just trying to get fancy here. Y'all <laughs> can just go to the store and buy some sausage already okay. made. Any kind of sausage will work in this situation. Very good. It's all about the batter though, Teresa. So we're gonna start out with this batter. Okay. We're gonna start out with a cup of AP flour, a cup of corn meal. Okay. That's what's gonna give it that nice. We got a nice spicy cayenne right here. Baking soda. All right. Baking powder. Now, is this a batter we could use uh, to fry just about anything? Yeah, but it's more like a cornmeal batter. Okay. So you got to keep that in mind. It might be good, like, for oysters. Okay. Cornmeal batter is good for oysters and stuff like that. Buttermilk. We fry Ooh. buttermilk down south. And then this is my <laughs> this is my secret right here. I got some cream corn and I spice it up with a little bit of jalapeno. The way I made this was I just took the corn. Connecticut's got very very sweet well, corn. Well, corn's in season too, right? Oh yeah, at this it, well, it's coming. It's coming out of season, but right now it's at its sweetest. It's okay. late harvest. So I just cooked this down with a little bit of sugar, jalapenos, and I hit it with a little bit of cream at the end. Okay. So we're gonna mix this up, nice and good. Then I gotta ask you, where are you from? I detect a little bit of an accent. Give us your story. I'm from Texas. All right. So, uh, so you, this this is your expertise. <laughs> no, kinda. <laughs> not not too too much. Okay. So now our batter is gonna look something like this. All right, you mixed it all up. Yes. So we're gonna take our grilled sausage. I got these beautiful eight eight inch paddle skewers. Okay. And we're just gonna go up. And I'm gonna take a little bit of cornstarch here, and this is gonna help the batter stick a little bit. So rubbing cornstarch first, and what yeah. do you have the oil on? Is there a it's certain degree, or does it not really matter? Right around 300, 325. If you're frying at home, you want to get a candy thermometer like this, mm -hmm. and, and you don't want it too hot because it's not going to work. So we're going to get your uh, duck sausage down in that batter, and okay. just kind of get it get it on there a little bit. <laughs> uh, so you mentioned earlier while we were taping, you were at the Dallas State or the uh, Texas, Texas State, State Fair, Fair, which happens to be in Dallas. I've been there myself. A lot yes. of fried food there. Anything stand out? Uh, fried guacamole, fried Coke. Fried uh, Coke? Yeah. How did they fry Coca-Cola? I don't know. I don't think it was really <laughs> fried Coke. It was just... I guess you got to try it while you're yeah, there. Yeah, you got to try it, but I wouldn't recommend I would go early before the oil gets too dirty. And we're just going to get that <laughs> right down in the oil okay. and let that fry. Now, we need something to, something to put this uh, okay. corn dog in. So we're going to make a cherry ketchup. I now, like cherries that. just went out of season here, so I got dried cherries, but these are delicious. These will work. Okay. So we're going to get that in a pan. Get is this okay as is? It's got to yeah, just fry up? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, it's really, okay. really low. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay. We got some red wine vinegar. Get that in there. We got a little bit of water. And y'all are like red wine vinegar, but you're not going to be able to taste the vinegar. You can really <laughs> smell it right now, but it cooks right off. Okay. And we're going to hit it with like a cup of sugar, so it's going to be really, really sweet. Okay. Get that in there. Ginger. Now we're talking about fall. We're talking about warm flavors. Ginger. I love it. We're going to get that in there. Boom, boom, boom. Did you just grade that? Is that how yeah, you get it? You, I just okay. pureed it, grade it, and then I got a couple cinnamon sticks, a couple cloves, and we're just going to 
we're just going to mix this up and cook that down. That's going to take a little while. But that's going to turn into a ketchupy consistency? Yeah, it's going to be like, really, you're going to be like, this, is, this isn't right. But just add a little <laughs> bit of water, and we're going to finish it off in the blender, and you're going to get something that looks like this. Oh, it does look like ketchup. Yes. All right, so let's start throwing this bad boy together. So All right. we have our ketchup. Another thing I love at the uh, at the fair is spicy nuts. Love my spicy nuts. We've got some more of the dried uh, cherries right here. And our uh, corn dogs. Oh, there, there you go. go. Look at that. Look at it's that. It's gorgeous. And there you have it. Happy cooking, y'all. I enjoy that. That's fabulous. All right, of course, we'll have the recipe over on WTNH.com. And that didn't take long at all. That no. was like about three, four minutes, yes. if that. That's why I make sure I cook my sausage ahead of time, so that's done. So you're just looking for a nice coat, ready to go. All right. Are you, gonna, are you looking forward to the Big E? Yes, I'm going this year. I'm looking forward <laughs> to that fried lasagna. I got to go have it. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, let's. we have a little bit of extra time, um, so let's talk about... What else can we make a corn dog out of? I mean, I know you could use hot dogs, different types of sausages. How about we talk about what else we can fry? Okay, that's a better idea. Uh, Why don't you host the show, Vince? Fried guacamole. <laughs> What's the best fried thing you've had? I had fried Oreos over the weekend. Yeah, how was that? Which were pretty good. That, that sounds delicious. I also had, when you go to the Big E, it's a cheeseburger in between two glazed donuts. Oh, yeah. yeah that's tasty. They got a name for it. They call that the Vandross in Atlanta. <laughs> Is that right? Mr. Vandross. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. kidding. All right, I we're going to wrap that. it up now, but we're going to try this at the end of the show, so uh, stick around, fans. All right. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, coming up.